Hey, today we're going to get into some baby dedications. I know you love to hear about the babies. Hi, my name is Joy with Breaking Curses 101. First, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel. And thank you for all those who already subscribed and hit the bell so you can be notified of my videos. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, many people out here have deliverance videos or they, they talk to you about deliverance. They teach, but you have no way of getting in contact with these people. They don't have anything set up for you to really, no avenue set up for you to get to them and get help. So I've set up a membership program and I have group calls, I have classes online, and um, for the membership fee, you get access to those things. And there's different levels to the membership. Um, the, the membership is going to be changing. You know, I'm adjusting. I'm trying new things because I'm trying to reach as many people as possible. So, I will put the link below. There is a free class called Breaking Curses 101, named after my ministry. And... It basically runs you through everything required to commit your life to Jesus Christ and get these curses broken. It's great, you know, to have a guide. Some people know how to get the guide and run with it, but other people, they need help. And so that's why I have the classes and then that's why I have group sessions and I also do one-on-ones. Um, I only offer one-on-one -on -one sessions to people who have already joined my membership. Because at least I know you've gotten the groundwork, the basics. Um, so, let's get into the baby dedications. This woman came to me recently and we had to dedicate four babies. One was an abortion and three were miscarriages. Anytime a person dies early, they've been sacrificed. I know there are many people who probably come to your mind, but it is not God's will for people to die early. Your relatives may say, well, God took them early. Uh, well, it was time for them to go. No, it wasn't their time. The Bible talks about um, 70 years. And then there, there's another reference to 120 years. Um, there's not, it's not God's will for us to leave this earth early. So, miscarriages are sacrifices, involuntary. If your ancestors have actually voluntarily sacrificed the baby, then future generations are going to be required to give up a baby. And that applies to grown-ups. That applies to um, anything. And that's why Jesus died. That's why Jesus came and gave up his life for us to become that sacrifice in place of the sacrifices that are required. The blood that's required of your bloodline from your ancestors' sin. So... Without the shedding of blood, there's no remission. There's no remission of sin. All right, so let's get into the baby dedications. First baby manifested. She saw him, and his name is Christopher. He plays baseball in heaven, and he would have been an engineer. I did something a little different with this one. And I asked, who was this baby sacrificed to? Well, she heard Baal and Lucifer. He was using this, this blood sacrifice to block her dreams and hold up her future, to destroy her marriage and turn her children against her. Hot dog. Baal had 10 of her soul fragments. Lucifer had 45. You're like, what are soul fragments? 
when your ancestors sins, they basically are selling your soul. Okay, they're pre-selling a piece of you. So it's like a chunk of you has been sold to the kingdom of darkness. And when you give your spirit to the Lord Jesus Christ, um, you got to go after those soul fragments. <laughs> I know this all sounds crazy, but Psalm 23, the Bible says, he restores my soul. You got soul fragments out there that need to come back because those soul fragments carry your wealth, your understanding, um, gifts, gifts, they're gifts. And so, all right. So yeah, that was different. I never, I don't usually ask who the baby was sacrificed to, but um, that's what I got. Baal and Lucifer. Um, the second baby, he was a boy named Jamie. Now he was aborted. He plays basketball in heaven. Hot dog. And he would have been a police officer on earth. Look at that. She would have had a baseball player and a basketball player, an engineer, and a police officer. Yes. Do not abort your children. Hold on to your children. God is going to make a way for you. Even if you're single, nobody is going to, nobody's around to help you. The Lord is going to give you the resources to take care of your baby when you break these curses. See, these demons are blocking all your money so that you'll be pressured to give up your baby and then they'll have a legal right to keep you in slavery. Whereas if you just get, break the curses, you and your baby will be taken care of. All right. All right. So here we go. Baby number two, Jamie. Likes to play basketball in heaven. And he would have been a police officer on earth. He was sacrificed to Belial. Belial manifested and said, I own her. I'm like, what i mean like he just straight up came out with the slavery thing he brought in fear doubt self-consciousness low self-esteem he is a slave master he sent oh he sent 100 slave masters into the family this means this family has been bought and sold 100 times it originated, the, the, the curse originated in Ethiopia. Now get this. The ancestors made a blood sacrifice to Belial for freedom. They have been tricked or betrayed into slavery. So the original family sacrificed a two-year-old child so that they could be free. Now, that means that resulted in 100 slave masters. They, they didn't come, they didn't get out of slavery. But that's what happened in Africa. People were selling their souls. They were sacrificing babies. They were sacrificing other people, throwing people under the bus. It was uh, instead of under the bus, throwing people in the Nile River, all that. So they could be free. There was a ton of betrayal in Africa and in Egypt. All right, that's where the slave trade began. So, anyway, here we go. Baby number three. Baby number three, Jason, another boy. He enjoys being outside. And he would have been a biologist. Now, I didn't get into all the other questions with this baby. Baby number four was actually a girl. Her name is Lauren. She likes to play with dolls in heaven and she, she likes to dress them up. And she would have been a fashion designer if she had been born. Hot dog. This is amazing. So if you want, if you've had abortions and miscarriages and you want to dedicate your baby, um, after you've gone through the spirit spouse deliverance class, you can be entitled to a one-on-one. -on -one. You'll find the link below for the Spirit Spouse class for the school. And um, most women, after they dedicate their babies, they they feel so light. They feel lightweight. Oh, and not only that, the babies, I mean, 
when a woman aborts her baby, she has to break off a piece of her soul. Like, you get fragmented. You have to kill a part of yourself. So we go after those soul fragments. And so there's a lot of healing that takes place when a woman dedicates her baby. I have done this for men as well. Because if you are having sex and your girlfriend takes the morning after pill and kills babies, then that blood is on your hands. So I actually dedicated um, babies with men as well. So that's it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share this video. And um, I should have more information about the retreat below or any other announcements. See you later.